think if I were really going to camp down here, I'd have to cross the creek. I'd be going off trail into the brush down there with my backpack and everything. So, nah. So, come on back here where the bag and the pack are. As long as we got the food bag out, why don't we get a little pad thai noodle cold soak underway. It's been mostly uphill so far. I came from down there and noticed this bridge up here. I said, hmm, nice spot. We've been walking alongside this creek, <clears throat> which might be Heiner Run. The creeks uh, in Pennsylvania are often called runs, you know, instead of such and such creek, it's such and such run. So I'll have to look at the map later, but this might be Heiner Run. Quite beautiful. And I was thinking of trying a food bag hang on that branch that's sticking out sideways right there. And then possibly set up the tent just for practice over here somewhere. Got the backpack sitting there. I'm not really finding a place that is uh, flat enough and also doesn't have rocks in the ground. There are a lot of rocks all through here. Appalachian Trail hikers call this state Rocksylvania because we do have a lot of uh, rocks that were, as I understand it, pushed here from the west by glaciers and deposited all over the place, scattered everywhere, all different sizes, huge boulders that you find just in the middle of nowhere. Well, I guess we'll head on down the trail. You might have noticed there are uh, orange ribbons hanging in the trees at various places. The Donut Hole Trail is supposed to be marked by red blazes, according to DCNR. And over by Kettle Creek State Park, when we were on that portion, <clears throat> they did kind of look reddish-orange. These are pretty much orange, and then there are also yellow blazes. And we got orange and yellow. So I don't know if the yellow is supposed to mark some other trail that is coincident with this one along here. but. Anywho, let's continue on. Oh, but before we do, I am gonna fill up the water flask here. 424 in the afternoon. Plenty of daylight left. And still along the donut hole trail. I don't even know if we'll get as far as the T-squared trail tonight. But I wanna make good use of the time and uh, practice some things like setting up a campsite. So I got my tent set up right here. I found a spot. Seems to be pretty flat. The ground seemed to be okay without stones under it and so forth. This is an REI Flash Air One tent. So basically you stake the bottom of it down in four places and then, um, then you put the center pole in. So it stands up by this one pole and then the fifth stake goes uh, at the end of this guy wire. So um, I got my uh, pad in there and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just get into it with my puffy blanket and so on. Uh, the foot end of it, it's got a little support thing here um, and I just decided to leave it in there because I have a really hard time getting the bottom of it out of the grommet. So, but I can just leave it in there and roll it up with uh, this end post in there. But you'll notice that it doesn't really stand up over here. Uh, to fix that, you, there are two guy wires. Here's one and there's another one. And with additional stakes, you can bring it out and, you know, stake it so that that's upright. I've got additional stakes, but I didn't bring them. I thought about doing it, but then I said, ah, I... Just, I'm not even going to bother because I can put stuff at the foot end of the tent to keep to keep that standing up. And even if it doesn't stand up, it's not a big deal for just for tonight. 
or at least I don't think it will be. That's part of why we're out here, to test this stuff. So I'll continue. Oh, by the way, I've got a, uh, I think that's a four by six tarp underneath the tent, um, just so that the tarp gets dirty instead of the bottom of the tent. So, and then I can, um, I've got a, you see that orange cloth over there? That's an armor all cloth. I can use that to just kind of wipe off the uh, bottom of the tarp whenever um, I'm ready to pack it. This is not too bad a spot. I can sleep here.